All right, internet. It's been a while since we did a proper review. It's also going to be my first video at 60 frames per second with my new iPhone XS Max. Um, that shaving video I did. Uh, a lot of people, it's funny, after I was editing that, I putting it up, I kind of thought, like, hmm, seems a little bit of a weird video to put up, but I thought it was kind of cool, and almost all the responses I got, I thought I was going to get some, like, crap, <laughs> and it was all like, oh, it's very soothing to watch, it's kind of cool, so, um, yeah, if uh, you guys are, like, straight razor shaving or into that at all, like, uh, yeah, hit me up, I'll, I like chatting about that sort of stuff. Anyway, um, we switched to 60 frames per second, because I've forgotten that video was the point I was trying to make, and before we get into what we're reviewing today, you guys already know, You've seen the thumbnail, but we're not going to get into that yet because we also have to review. Holy moly, American Double IPA. Now that is a 9.3% beer from the folks at The Alchemist. You know what? You can probably pause this video and scan that. And if you've got the new uh, iPhones, the new iOS, um, the camera in there, um, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be a new iPhone, just a new version of iOS. It will scan a QR uh, code um, and then let you link it up so you don't need a special app to do that. But go ahead and give that a scan. Um, maybe check that out after this video or even stop it and come back later. Or if you really don't want to watch that and you'd rather watch this, it's all we're all about that. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little beer. Now, I don't know if this was an exclusive thing they did. Um, I did a run over at The Alchemist. They did uh, what they call a Heady Trotter, since Heady Topper is kind of their, their, um, their main beer. Um, they did like a four mile run. This was the first year they did it. And I don't know if this was brewed, ex not exclusively for the run, but when they debuted this, because I'd never heard it or seen it before. Uh, but they have another beer called, I, th I think it's called Holy Cow. Um, and it might be a single IPA. But anyway, um, let's get right into it, shall we? I guess not right into it. Two minutes in. I wasn't sure how long this video would be, but we're sitting down inside. We're going to pour a beer. We're going to review a thing. And the thing that we were going to review, again, you guys already know what it is. I haven't said it yet, but... Um, I think I'm actually probably going to talk longer than I thought I, that I think I will, because I was like, what am I really going to be able to say about it, other than like, here's what you do with it, but <clears throat> I think I'm going to have some things to say, so we still got some in the can, mm, boy, already, very sweet, very sweet smell, you know, you guys take a whiff, we'll look at the bubbles, we got focus right on the bubbles, all right, let me sniff, yeah, much more of an orange than a grapefruit, like citrus, Not too bitter. Alcohol flavor isn't too over the top. It's pretty balanced. It's not just a lot of bitter. It's not just a lot of hops. There's certainly hops in there. <clears throat> I almost think more like, an, like a pear kind of a flavor in there. It's not like really peachy or too over the top citrusy with that bitter. But there is some kind of like fruity notes. <clears throat> once you finish it, once you kind of like swallow and it goes back, you can kind of feel that warmth, like that alcohol warmth. You guys know what I'm talking about? <sighs> That's delicious. Um, it's good as it warms up. So, all right. So what are we talking about? Enough of that. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The drop. So the drop literally just dropped. Um, <clears throat> Adrian sent this to me quite some time ago, and I've been playing around with it, carrying it around here and there. Um, I haven't, like, EDC'd it every day or anything like that, and I've been gentle with it in my pocket trying to keep it from getting scratched. But the idea is you certainly could put this on a keychain. That's what that hole is for. Um, and I think something like this, if you're EDCing it like that, like, who cares if it gets a little scratched, even though it's nice and polished. You know, it's got some scratches in there if we look. But like I said, I've been carrying it. Um, <sighs> But Adrian said it to me, and he kind of didn't want us to put the review out immediately, which is good, because it's a different kind of a thing for me. Um, can you see me in there? Picture me rolling. Can you see me? Oh, why can't I think of the rest of the lyrics of that song? Anyway, you can also see my phone and my stand, my light. <clears throat> um, but yeah, he didn't want to kind of show this off too much, especially because of this right here. He didn't want kind of like the cloners getting their hands on this and seeing this before he got a chance to kind of put that out there, um, you know, because it is a pretty unique thing. Uh, so, yeah, so I've kind of been holding off on doing it. And then um, I kind of have been out of the loop. You guys have noticed I probably haven't been as active. I've been, you know, just focusing more on my, my family life and trying to not let social media and stuff like that just eat up all my time. So I'm not as active on the boards and stuff like that as I used to be. But, uh, you know, I'm living my best life. Uh... 
But anyway, yeah, so I saw that this, I got an email uh, and that this had dropped. Um, so as of time, as of recording this, it dropped last night around, I think, 9 o'clock. Um, but what he had, what he's done is he's come out with anodized aluminum versions for 30 bucks. Look at that. Look how silky that is. If I have a silky. If anybody knows what that is from, I will be impressed and we're best friends for life. Um, if I have a silky, if you can tell me what that's from. Um... But yeah, so it's anodized aluminum. We're going to be all over the place, but that's typical for my reviews. Um, and on one side, it's got this nice dish. And on the other side, it's got, instead of it being like this little moving thing, um, it's actually just sort of like stepped in. So almost like, I don't think it's as deep, but it's almost like a worry stone like this, just with like this little spiral pattern. Um, and we'll get into why I think that's probably a better option, at least for me, it's kind of a cooler idea. So, um, but yeah, those just dropped at like 30 bucks. They're anodized aluminum. They're similar to like um, what you would see like anodized, like a carabiner or something like that. Um, so since it is aluminum, you can like scuff it, but it's pretty durable as well. So, you know, putting something like that in your pocket would be good to go or as well, you know, as in keychain, I think especially like with a, that swirled side, it would actually, or not keychain, but like a, um, like some cordage or something like that, making a necklace out of it, I think would be pretty cool. And then you just sort of like have it at the ready whenever you need it. Um, word of warning, I don't kind of hear this tossed around eno enough, but if you ever put like paracord on a necklace, just be extremely careful. Um, paracord in particular is stronger than your neck. So if your neck, if, <laughs> if that necklace got caught on something, it's not going to give, uh, you know, like a chain or something like that would. Um, so don't like break your neck, like climbing a tree with paracord around your neck, please. Like that's like for real, no joke. Like that will, that's, that will kill you. <laughs> so talking about death, let's have a sip of beer. Government warning. Alcohol. Da, 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 da. So yeah, so this is like super well polished. Um, it's got an excellent, excellent worry stone feel. Um, this is clearly obviously a, a worry stone type effect. Um, on the worry stone side of this, this is um, this is excellent. This is something that you can keep in your pocket. Um, this is something that the ergonomics of it, um, the way it's shaped um, with this little drop right here. Um, it works okay like this, but this sort of almost gives you almost like a lever to really lock on and keep it in position so you can really get in there and give it some really good, rub that deep dish rub it and it is a deep dish i shouldn't make this joke because i live in vermont we've got a problem with it but it might be great for heroin no we're not gonna we're not gonna go there internet that's actually a legitimate problem where i'm from and in a lot of places but if you know someone on heroin don't get them this <clears throat> excuse me um so yeah so the dish is wonderful uh, it's smooth. It feels fantastic. It's one of those things you can kind of carry. Um, some people, you know, not everybody is super comfortable in their own skin and you might not be comfortable walking around with a spinner, just fidgeting up and down the street all the live long day, but carrying something like this, you know, even having it on a keychain in your pocket, you just slip your hand in your pocket and this is there. If you've got anxiety and that sort of thing. Now for me, <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm, I am pretty, uh, uh, pretty introverted and I'm not like a super social butterfly and I'm not comfortable in tons of situations. Um, it, I don't really need it as like an anxiety type thing, but I could f imagine like this could kind of be that little thing just to have with you, have in your pocket and be like good to go. Um, you know, or even if you just got your keys in your hand and you're walking down the street, right? You don't have to feel awkward about spinning a spinner, but you can still get some of that like kind of anxiety out. So from a from a, a worry stone perspective, this thing is on point. Um, it's just a really excellent, excellent shaped dish. However, you want to just like feel the metal. It kind of warms up as you use it, which feels kind of nice, but it feels nice and smooth when it's cold. Uh, when it's super cold and your hands get slippery, it's wonderful. You may or may not hear the baby crying. I apologize. Um, so let's get on to this side. This was pretty interesting, and I really dig the, um, the um, uh, not initiative, the... Uh, innovation of this right so being a spinner company right um, finding a way to get a bearing into a worry stone is kind of a cool idea um, so the idea is that you can kind of spin this it does have a little bit of a dish um, that you can kind of rub but unless you rub exactly in the middle it kind of spins as you do it now for me i'm not a huge huge fan of this and I, i've mentioned that to adrian um, there's a couple things that i think um I would like to see in something like this and this is actually something that he's working on as well so if you notice the current drops um, again, they just have like a sort of like the opposite of this dish with sort of like a swirl mark like that um, that you can kind of rub your fingers in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but so, yeah, so the issue that he's having with this is essentially there's a bearing in there, but it's not 
easy to remove the bearing, right? Because obviously this button needs to spin. Like, where do you grab it? Where do you get a hold of it? How do you do it? So it's something that he's looking into doing, but having the option to have sort of like a replaceable um, bearing and replaceable button is something that he's kind of looking and trying to do. So, um, but right now he's got those aluminum ones, um, 30 bucks uh, for a nice anodized aluminum piece like this. I think Sestil um, would make an excellent keychain. So I would definitely check that out. Um, I don't know when he's going to have something out. I think there's still a lot of R&D essentially to be done, so I wouldn't hold your breath for for one with a little spinning thing like this. Um, and even just like this, I think everybody's a little different. Some people may like it. It does have a nice tactile kind of feel to it. Uh, but for me, and I've given Adrian this feedback, there were essentially two things that I think for me personally I would like. So having uh, you know replaceable buttons would be a cool idea. But having essentially either a series of uh, little nubs, um, just kind of like smooth, like almost like a wave kind of a sign. Um, you know, just up and down, or even just one little thing that you can kind of get your finger on and kind of like use it almost as a lever to spin that around. I think I, I would find the spin more satisfying because this isn't something like I'm spinning and letting spin and having that like gyro feel going in my hands. Um, so to have, for me, it's more about having my finger on it and spinning it. So, so one, I kind of like, I, I think I would like a little bit of a nub here, but again, having replaceable buttons would solve that. And then two, um, it kind of defeats the purpose because the idea is it's like a bearing from like a spinner company, but I think having a ratcheting type effect um, would be pretty awesome, you know? So like it would sort of like click around one way and would kind of spin smooth the other way. So you can kind of like click, 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 click. Um, what's funny, if you watch um, Big Papa E, Spin a Please, did a review of this as well a little while ago, um, and he mentioned actually having it sort of like a pressing button. So almost like a fidget cube, sort of like, sort of like the essence of a fidget cube kind of boiled in. Like you've got a spinner... Like, especially if it could ratchet one way, click, uh, spin the other way, push it in to click, have a little nub on the top to kind of rub your fingers over, like if it had a bunch of little nubs, uh, and then the smooth on this side, and even just rubbing the sides of this, like, everything works, so... <laughs> so I'm a big fan of this, I dig this, this is like a two thumbs up for me. Um, <clears throat> again, I think, knowing that he's still looking to kind of work this out, I think there's a little bit more to go here to make this really what he's envisioning it to be, um, but he's working on that. Um, and then this is just like an excellent dish. It's like an excellent size. And I have big hands, right? So um, if it's working on my hands, um, this is like, it's going to work on just about everybody's hands. And it is, again, like I said, a big uh, a big dish. So I have pretty skinny fingers, all things considered, but my thumb's kind of large, and there's still like plenty of room on each side, like if I push in there. So even if you got like big old meat, meat paws of hands, I think this would still work for you. And the edges are like it rounds out very well here. Right, it really rounds out nicely. So even if your finger is larger than that, you're still gonna get like smoothness all around. It just feels nice. Um, the aluminum ones he's gonna be offering, I think possibly in different textures as well, um, as well as some different designs. So not just the same swirl, but some other stuff. So keep an eye on that. Uh, because it's not really a spinner, I believe he's done a different site than his um, uh, damn design site, uh, but you can, it links to it from the damn design site. And uh, obviously I'll have the links down below. Ooh, look at that. You know, I bet in a survival situation, like no joke, um, it would be difficult to do, but you could use this dish um, to reflect sunlight um, and start a fire. No joke. It would probably be difficult to do. You'd have to probably be uh, talented at it and practice it, uh, but no joke, you can do that. I know you can do that if you take, like, uh, you polish the bottom of a soda can, you can do the same thing. So you would be able to sort of, like, reflect sunlight in there. So survival. Adrian made a survival tool. Well. Didn't even know that. That's awesome. So anyway, 13 minutes, longer than I thought it would be. Like I said, I thought I might be able to talk longer than I thought I might. So um, there you have it, the drop by Damn Designs. Um, for me, again, I think <clears throat> having this on a keychain is ideal. Uh, it's the ideal shape for keychain. It's got some good weight. Do I have my scale around here? I don't think I do. I've been uh, cleaning up and cleaning house internet. So my hobby space is sort of like, sort of in some ways looking nice, but it's also been reduced, so I don't have all my stuff around. Um, but, uh, yeah, having it on a keychain or, again, having it on a necklace, I think, would rock, um, you know, some nice, uh, I know I said, like, the dangers of it, but I think, like, some nice, clean, you know, black paracord, maybe something red or blue um, would really uh, would really rock with this. Um, so, 
they have internet. The drop by Damn Designs, uh, really slick, really cool, little uh, little cool little thing. Um, and also, you know, I guess the last thing, um, you know, fidget spinners. Again, I think for like being widely socially accepted, a lot of people don't realize kind of the quality in the community like we do. Um, so a lot of people still kind of look at them as toys. But like a worry stone, they've been around for a while. A lot of people dig them, so I think it's a uh, kind of a cool little introduction thing that is more readily acceptable as well. So uh, definitely something worth checking out. And again, just something to, to pimp out your kit, something to pimp about your EDC, you get excited about taking your keys off the wall, right? It's little things like that, I think, that can um, can make a big difference in your day, right? So, anyway, internet, kisses. Can we, see? oh, the phone's going to be in the way. Can you see me doing kisses? Kisses.